You guys, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Finally, with the All Recipes August September edition. I know we are okay. We're well into September at this point, but see this? It's not even open yet because I was waiting to share it with you before I opened it. Okay, first we will use the anti Deborah proof packaging uh, fixer, which is you know scissors, and get everything out of here. There's always lots of stuff in the plastic. It's always adverts. Omaha Steaks. Grab your board. Leave behind the boardroom. Yeah, let's go RVing. Okay, whatever. Uh, Bradford Exchange. Bradford Exchange. And I'm sure that there will be things inside as well. Okay. This is a pretty thick one. Oh, <clears throat> I am looking at this <laughs> advert on the back. Look at that. It's for Ikea, but they're advertising that cart right there. How many whip carts do you have? I now have a bunch. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. What I have with me today is my bowl with a wet sponge so that I don't have to lick my fingers to turn the pages because that's kind of gross. And um, I have a beverage, which I have not slurped out of yet. August, September of 2022. Does it say how long it displays? No, because this may not even be sold in a store. I'm not sure. Smart, simple, seriously good. Easy recipes and bright ideas for saving time, money, and sanity at summer's end. Grilled zucchini with tomatoes and mint. That looks so delicious. All right. We're going to skip a lot of the adverts and the table of contents and that stuff, despite the fact that the pictures are gorgeous. Oh, and something about this magazine that you should know. In the recipe index, see those little colorful dots and stuff? That is color-coded. Uh, with what has a how-to video on allrecipes.com, uh, what is a healthy pick, what is quick, what is vegetarian, gluten-free, vegan, blah 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 so that you can pick and choose according to any special dietary needs you might have. Right? We have got an editor-in-chief note there talking about what's coming up. Some adverts for sandwich meat. Adverts for pup food. Adverts for trash bags. Okay. Ooh, this is a pretty, pretty drink. The first section is called Mixer. They've got drinks. Look at that. That is called the Bethy's Cucumber Lemonade. I guess Bethy is the name of a person. Wow. Shrimp boil. Holy cannoli. Yes, that looks like a hot mess all piled out like that, but that's how you do a shrimp boil. You pile it out. You put it on, that, on a newspaper. Can you find newspapers nowadays? Um... Dave's Little Country Shrimp Boil, Fast Fresh Tomato Salad, Bethy's Cucumber Lemonade, Lime Mustard Sauce. Ooh, recipes on page 98 for all of that. Mmm, mmm, love me a shrimp boil. And, oh, and of course, it, they also, see, they got it all tied in. Throw all the shrimp boil fixings into a Cook's Standard Classic 12-quart stock pot cooker set. Right there. Right there, and they tell you where to buy it. Because, of course, they do. Now, this is cool. Not necessarily cooking related, but a mission control section for your kitchen. And it has, like, helpful things in there, like um, temperature, like that you have to cook your meats, too, so you don't have to keep looking it up. Um, meal planning, right on things that you can wipe off. Like, hey, this is what's for dinner on Tuesday. Deal. We're not ordering out. Um... Yeah, that, that's kind of cool. And it just tells you kind of how to do it and how to put it together. I like that. Next section on fiber and why it's important. Because everybody poops. Okay. Um, hard seltzers and where they're going, you know, hard seltzers as in alcoholic seltzers. Talking about sandwiches. Um, a sandwich press down there, like a panini press like a what I call a ticketing which is they're calling it a digital toaster oven with air frying that's kind of what I have only mine's not digital it's got a turn knob but I call it the ticketing because the timer goes and when it's done it dings um and the quesadilla press which is kind of cool I've never found the need for a quesadilla press I use a pan and then and then cut it but that's just me because I'm cheap in trending I love their photos in these. Look at that. Look at all of the melons. They're beautiful. God, that makes me want some watermelon. Mm. 
watermelon nice slice with just a touch of salt on it yes please and it gives you a guide to what these melons are and their taste and um, kind of what you do with them all right yellow watermelons Tuscan style melons different kinds of watermelons honeydews and things all right I like that I like the little guide there that's pretty cute cucumber honeydew gazpacho that was that picture in the middle hmm. I love regular gazpacho if you have fresh tomatoes dude oh gazpacho is awesome wow this is beautiful too and they're they're eating it on a paper plate and I don't understand that I mean I get it you don't want to do dishes But you're not doing seared sesame tuna with watermelon fire and ice salsa on a paper plate. But it is beautiful, isn't it? With the sesame seeds on it and everything. Hmm. Key to a good seared tuna, you have to get super fresh, awesome tuna. Sear it hard on the outside and take it off. You do not want to overcook that stuff. This one here is Melon Trio with Sherry and Mint. All right. And frozen watermelon rosemary margaritas. That's the drink down there. Watermelon and rosemary. I would think the rosemary would overpower the watermelon. Because watermelon is kind of delicate. But this here. That's super pretty too. A lot of beautiful food. Of course food is beautiful. Says the fat chick. Uh, prosciutto wrapped melon. That's pretty classic. Gotta have that nice salty prosciutto with the sweet melon. And then it's perfect because you know prosciutto uh telling you where they find some good foods and stuff good food great life this is just a little in intro to virginia willis an atlanta chef and cookbook author creator of our simple sides recipe on page 69 of the issue talking about her Ooh, grilled corn tabbouleh what Grilled fresh corn kernels take the place of bulgur wheat and lend a slightly sweet edge in Virginia's version of the Lebanese grain salad known as tabbouleh. Wow. And it's using Aleppo pepper, which is mild. Um, ground Aleppo pepper, which is easy to find. And you can use another one if you want to make it hotter. But look at that. I think that is super pretty and I bet it's delicious. Tabbouleh is good anyway. I mean, come on. Talking about power lunches and things to put in your lunchbox, not necessarily the kids. Those uh, tuna creations you can get from Starkist, they're not bad. Of course, they have an advert for us on the next page. Pizza, please. Yes, please. All right, here are the pizzas. Okay, and I'm going to tell you about these. The top one is smoky breakfast pizza. Okay, I'm on board for that. Soft scrambled eggs, shredded smoked gouda, cooked breakfast cooked crumbled breakfast sausage topped with hot sauce and sliced green onion yeah that sounds delicious nutty tofu slaw pizza i'm confused i am thai style peanut sauce okay broccoli slaw mix and seared tofu cubes topped with chopped roasted peanuts and fresh cilantro Again, I'm confused. Those combination of things sound good together, but why make it a pizza? I mean, I guess why not, but yeah. Chicken bacon ranch pizza. That just sounds as American as you can get without making it beef, okay? Chunky marinara, pulled roasted chicken, crumbled cooked bacon, shredded Monterey Jack, and topped with ranch dressing and crushed red pepper. And for the crust, it tells you what to do with the crust to make each of these because it's, you know, pretty much one crust and three different ideas to top. This says from the ground up. Oh, yes. Tacos, baby. Poblano and ground pork tacos. They look beautiful. Anybody's panicking about poblanos? Poblanos are not hot. Um, and they get sweeter if you roast them. So, yeah. Turkey meatloaf with kale and tomatoes. <sighs> I will show this. Okay. And I do use turkey in my meatloaf, ground turkey. 
but it can't be the only meat. It's just like to substitute for some of the meat because turkey, you have got to add so much to it to give it some stinking flavor. Um, it's very mild. It's like the tofu of the meat world. And if you've had tofu, you know what I mean. Tofu takes on the flavor you put with it, but you have got to put some flavor with it. Um, kebab masala. Oh, now those are pretty. They're using ground lamb. Perfect. Look at those kebabs. Those are fancy, fancy schmancy kebabs. Mine would end up looking a hot mess, but I'd still eat them. I don't know who Deb Doozy is, but uh, Deb Doozy's Blue Ribbon Chili with what looks like a fairly straightforward recipe. I mean, that is the entirety of the recipe right there, but look at that bowl of chili. That's beautiful. I love chili. I don't make it often at all, unless I'm having other folks over because I love my chili to have tomato base to it. White chilies are okay, but they're not my thing. Um, but the hubby's tummy, mm, tomatoes hate his tummy. He loves the smell of it. He wants to taste it. That much tomato, yeah, he'd be sick for a week. Larb Guy Nikki style, okay? A spicy Thai salad made with minced or ground chicken, Herbs and veggies served in lettuce cups or with rice to tame the heat. Oh, I've had larb before. Larb is a wonderful dish. But there you go. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, and I think this section is made for me. Yeah, the diabetic. But yeah. Bring on the brownies, baby. Yup. And look at all of these boxed mix brownie boosters. Okay, these are the homemade ones I have over here. But... Then you can get a box and you can doctor them up to kind of make them your own. Love that. Love it. Masala chai brownies. What? Oh, dude, I have got to make that. That sounds amazing. Masala chai. These brownies came out rich and dense, just how brownies should be. The chai undertone made them even better. Mmm. Make my mouth water just thinking about that. I love chai. Oh, this is gorgeous. Gluten, what? These are gluten-free? Are you kidding me? Ooh, simple gluten-free brownies. If you have to live a gluten-free life, they are coming out with lots of stuff now to help out, and that's pretty awesome. Red Velvet Cheesecake Swirl Brownies. That's pretty. Chocolate Chip Fluffer Nutter Blondies. Mm. And yes, I love blondies too, not just brownies. <laughs> I like all the things. <laughs> oh, and here's a section called Dinner Fix for week weeknight dinners, tag team dinners, sides, veg up, and menus. A fancy ramen. I love it. We love to doctor up ramen at this house. It's easy. It's fun. Great mac and cheese. And this is to, you know, you make your own mac and cheese, not, not the macaroni and effort that I like to, to do with the box, but you know, look at that. Totally doctoring it up. It looks like some ham chunks and stuff in there. It's pretty good. One pot rice and beans, always a budget friendly thing, rice and beans, but you can make it so fancy. Look at that. Add a little avocado, add some like little cherry tomatoes that you've cut in half. Yes. Potato and pepper frittata. Frittatas, that's like, to me, that's such an, an easy, cool way to do a dinner. You don't have to do it for brunch. Frittatas are awesome for dinner because you, you put all the stuff together, you start it cooking, you know, on, in the pan on the stove, you, you chunk it in the oven and you're done. It's easy. Cabbage stir fry with smoked turkey sausage. I've done stuff like this. No recipe, just, you know, cabbage is cheap. And usually you can get that sausage on sale. Like stores will put a sale on it every now and then when I when they do. I usually buy a bunch of it because they'll put it on sale like a two of the big long links of either turkey sausage or smoked sausage or something for, it's a dollar for a package. I'll buy five or 10 of them, put them in the freezer. They keep. It's sausage. It's okay. They're wrapped nice and tightly. And <clears throat> you can just pull it out and add it. You can add it to macaroni and effort, okay? And it makes it a lot better. 
uh, the recipe for the fancy ramen, telling you how to really doctor it up. And that's an advert for Goya. Oh dear, I can't turn this page even with wet fingers. Goodness. All right. Tag team dinners. Take the stress out of weeknight meals by divvying up the duties. Decide which parts of the recipe you will tackle, then hand off the rest, relay race style, to a willing partner. Anyone who lives or dines with you, a parent, spouse, roomie, neighbor, or teen, is fair game. Okay. No. <laughs> I mean, if you're teaching your kids how to cook, great, but... When I'm in the kitchen, I'm like the Tasmanian devil. I'm spinning around at 900 miles an hour. It's like everybody just like stands back and goes, oh my God. Yeah, that's what happens in my house. So there's that. But I love the idea of this. Sheet pan beef fajitas. Um, and if you're getting flank steak, God, why does flank steak get so expensive now? Flank steak used to be the cheap cut. Skirt steak. You could get it for for nothing, pretty much, because nobody wanted it. Now, everybody realized that it's good in fajitas, so they jack the price up, just like wings. Try to buy wings. Just try. But this uh, pound and a half of flank steak and a bunch of other great ingredients, mostly like, you know, fresh veggies and stuff, to make that. Sheet pan fajitas. I'm on board for that. I like it. I, I don't understand why you'd use a sheet pan, though. I think that I could do it all in just a pot on the stove, but I'm a pretty experienced cook, so there's that. Ooh, grilled lemongrass chicken. Wow. That sounds wonderful, and it looks like a beautiful dish, and lemongrass is delightful. BLT linguine. I mean, if you're going to include bacon, yeah, it's probably got my vote. Look at that. Oh, and a tip for bacon. If you have an Aldi near you, Aldi, Aldi, whatever, um, check out their bacon. Mm -hmm. You will stop buying it at the big stores, the box stores, because it is cheaper and it is delicious. Yeah, pro tip. You're welcome. <laughs> Roasted chicken with risotto and caramelized onions. Yeah. Yeah. I made risotto for the first time. I, I do a meal kit. I've told y'all before, every plate. I've been doing it for a couple of months now. And they had a risotto in there. And I mean, they give you the ingredients, but you have to make the stuff, right? I did it. I didn't realize how easy it was. You just have to pay attention to it to cook risotto. It turned out really good. So I'm like, okay, I can do risotto now. I feel special. Salmon quinoa bowl. That looks like a beautiful plate. And salmon, I know for some people, is hit or miss. Some people are like, oh, salmon is too strong. If you find that salmon is too strong for you, try it cooked less. That's my tip for that. Or get smoked salmon and don't cook it like that way at all. Just get a little bit and sliced and put on. Um, salmon can be a little bit overpowering if you cook it too much, in my opinion. This is simple sides. and Sometimes I do sides as a meal because... I'm that girl. Um, grilled zucchini with tomatoes and mint is this big picture here. That's so pretty. And creamed corn with tomatoes. Look at that. They give you a little teeny tiny picture of that. But they give you all the directions. I mean, this is using fresh veg and stuff. Sheet pan ratatouille. You know, I can't think of ratatouille without thinking of that. I've never seen the movie. I've never seen the movie. I know. Don't at me, Okay. Um, but thinking about rats in the kitchen, as someone who grew up in the city and there were rats, it just kind of grosses me out. It just does. Veg up. That's what it says. It says veg up. All right. Grilled vegetable tortellini salad. Wow. That is a beautiful plate. I am so making myself hungry looking at this stuff. Serve up a vegetarian pasta salad. Even meat eaters will devour. Grilled vegetables and balsamic vinaigrette elevate purchased cheesy tortellini. There's the key right there. You don't make your own tortellini. Buy the stuff because they have it um, to where you can buy it like semi-fresh or whatever. It's not like frozen. And you can use it in dishes and it's actually pretty good. It doesn't suck. Is it gourmet? No, but it definitely doesn't 
doesn't bite. And here they have the make it a meal things where they tell you kind of what you can pair together to, to make your meal like really cool. And I like that. That's always a lot of fun if you can ever decide what to make. Um, and they have a section that's good for you. Any of these can be good for you if you do it right. I mean, yeah. But this, oh, okay, smoothies. Smoothies are apparently a thing. Catch a caffeine boost with this formula for a tea or coffee spiked fruit smoothie. You'll also score at least six grams of fiber and eight grams of protein to power you through your day. There's one right here that I know that I will like. It's called, oh, chai there, because it's, it's made with chai tea. But look at those. They look very pretty and very appetizing. This one on the bottom is called Mocha Cherry. Cherry flavor, kefir, plus coffee, plus pitted sweet cherries, and unsweetened cocoa power. And it tells you how to put this stuff together, how to blend it, what to do with it. You're good to go. Crispy Cravings, and they have this section called Indulge or Go Healthy. And on one side is chicken katsu. On the other side is air fryer chicken katsu. And a katsu basically is a, a cutlet that's pounded out a little bit, breaded and usually fried. That's the chicken katsu. And on the other side, they do it in an air fryer instead. So I'm presuming that's less fat and, and fewer calories. Um, yeah. And it tells you what to go with. The indulge one has boneless, skinless chicken halves, seasonings, breadcrumbs, frying, rice, and some purchased tonkatsu sauce, which tonkatsu sauce, yeah, it's definitely worth it. The other one, the air fryer one, has a bunch of cabbage with it instead of rice, so that definitely cuts your calories and stuff. Yeah, that could, I think they'd both be delicious. Perfect fried green tomatoes or air fryer green tomatoes. Never thought of doing it in the air fryer because, I mean, green tomatoes, you're going to fry them. There's nothing usually healthy about that. But they both look really good. The only difference is the one that they fried, they put a remoulade sauce on. The one they didn't fry doesn't seem to have a sauce. Dude, you need a sauce, okay? Yeah, that's my Long Island coming out. Gotta have a sauce. A section on age-defying foods. I mean, unless they're going to make my body 25 again, I don't want to hear it. Um, other anti-aging habits to adopt ASAP. Lower your stress level. Dude, I work for a living. I ain't gonna lower my stress level. All right. Uh, adverts for different stuff. A family section on stuff to make with the kids, which actually looks like fun. These are kind of cute. Host a DIY snack date designed to melt away first day of school jitters. Of course, around here, they've been in school since August, but okay. Use this recipe formula as an icebreaker while your kids reconnect with classmates after a long summer break. And you're making different trail mixes and stuff separating it in little cups and letting people pick and choose and all of that. I want you to imagine the mess in your kitchen after this happens. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just That's what I pictured. But it is a good idea. I like it. Um, some people with how they shop for groceries and how they keep their prices, their, their grocery costs down for their families and stuff. That's pretty cool. Get to read how other people do it. Oh, and there's a featured pet. They always have a featured pet now in these episodes. This farm to city cat puts on a tough act, but is as soft at heart as his milky white belly. He loves backpack hikes and breakfast and lives in Mountain View, California. Look at that pretty little blue-eyed kitty baby. Yes, I love kitties. And... Tips on working with your dogs. Does your dog like hugs? Talking about when the dog is stressed and stuff. So, yeah, cool tips there. Favorites you love. Oh, these look delicious. Korean barbecue galbi. And that's short ribs. Oh, my gosh. Mm. I am going to have to eat something. That's, that's true right there. Nana's Southern Coleslaw. Everybody has a different take on coleslaw. You like what you like. And, you know, I'm willing to try different coleslaws, obviously. And I like a lot of different ones. But some people are like, no, that, that's, that's not coleslaw. That's not my coleslaw. Okay, honey. It's okay. We got you. You don't have to eat this. But try something new sometimes. And Korean barbecue galbi together as a thing. And this looks like they're eating some kind of brats or something. Oh, yeah. I'd love to have some brats right now. 
or just about anything else that I saw in this magazine. <clears throat> Authentic Pizza Margarita. That's pretty. And it gives you tips about um, no time for dough. You can buy prepared pizza dough and you can skip the thing to where you're making your own if you have no time for that. Juicy Peach Crisp. That looks yummy. Now me, I don't like peach flavored things, but I love peaches. That's just my take. Some finish ups on some of the recipes from earlier in the back of this here. Citrus and smoke. Grilled grapefruit paloma cocktails. Oh, wow. I mean, I can't have the, the grapefruit. Madison I take says, no, no, don't eat grapefruit. But this is actually really pretty. Look at that. It looks like such a fancy drink. And the way they have it, it is so easy. I mean, as long as you've got some tequila in the house, you, you got it, right? There you go. That is the All Recipes magazine for August and September of 2022. It's untied out there. And uh, yeah, together we cook, united we eat. Check it out if you haven't. I mean, I enjoy the magazine. I love flipping through it. I use recipes most of the time as just sort of an inspiration guide. I, I have a zillion cookbooks. And I'm looking over there at a pile of cookbooks, okay? I don't always follow them, but I like to look through them. I like to read cookbooks like it's a good book. Yeah. But I am a fat chick. But I do like to eat a lot of healthy foods, too. So it's all good. But, boy, this picture on the front just gets me. And I guess it's supposed to. The photographers in this magazine are top-notch and the editors. It's, it's great. Hope you enjoyed the flip through. I hope it made you as hungry as it made me. Dude, for real. <laughs> and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.